Hi everybody, my spare craft book box came for December. I forgot what the thing was. I just got the goodies. I didn't get the book. I know it had something to do with like space or something or yeah, space or something like that, but I don't remember exactly what's in there. And I got a couple of things from Amazon, so I'm just gonna do the show you what I got from Amazon at the same time as I do the you know, on the same video. So we'll do what we got from Amazon and then I'll show you what I got from Sparecraft. Start with this one. I got these thick friction, uh, friction, I guess how you say that. Colors. There's 12 different colors. It's from Japan. Find it. And I forget what colors are in here. Oh, I, I can't read. I can't read Japanese. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I got because. Could not find these anywhere, and I heard they were real good, so I'm gonna try them. We'll try them out and see. And then I got something on something here. If I can open it, because I always have trouble with these things. Like, I suck at like opening these things, like, I cannot get them at all. And I'm doing it where it says the perform, to hit it at the perform thing, but doesn't want to do it. Ah, no other way. I was doing the wrong one. I was doing down here. And I got... What is in there? Oh, some of the pages got bent a little. But I got, um... Tish, Tasha, Suri, something like that. Empire of Sands. And it says, A nobleman's daughter with magic in her blood... An empire built on the dreams of enslaved gods. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you guys. But at the front it says, Magic is in her blood. A stunning and enthralling debut. An absorbing, heart-wrenching, and triumphant. A darkly in I said, devastating and utterly original story. <laughs> the best fantasy novel. Beautiful and Powerful magic, utterly compelling. Character, high stakes, and immerse prose. Astonishing, the magic bound me up, bound me up in the epic story set in my heart free. Arresting and magical. In in how you say it, heroine. Reverted and wonderful. And this is a future of fantasy. Stunning. I guess I'll read the whole thing to you guys. It says, the Amari, Amarha, Maria, something like that, are outcast nomads, nomads, descended from desert spirits. They are covert and prosecuted, something like that, throughout the empire for the blood, the power in their blood, I mean. Mare, or Mar, something like that, it's M-E-H-R. I'm just going to say Mare. Is the element, 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 how do you say that? Daughter of an em empire, imperial governor and exiled Armathy, something like that. Armatha's mother. She can barely remember, but whose face and magic she inherit. She can manipulate the dreams of the gods to alter the shape of the world. When Mar power comes to the attention of the empire's most feared mythics. She must use every ounce of will, subtlety, and power she possesses to resist their cruel agenda. And should she fall, the gods themselves may awaken, seeking vengeance. And I love stuff with gods and things like it in it. You guys tell I tried to put some makeup on? I don't, I didn't do the best job. I'm still trying to get used to it. But, yeah. It definitely looks interesting. Ooh. Cool. You know, a couple pages got bent. That's okay. There's a map. You know me. When there's a map in books, I get excited. And there's a map. Oops, I got it wrong. 
this is cute. Like, they got the little, like, decoration around the thing there. Okay, let's get to the main thing here. Let's get to the box. Now, remember, this ain't going to have the book in it, so it's going to be... It's going to be a short unboxing because there's not going to be no book to show you guys. If I can get it open, I think I might have it the wrong way. I always have trouble getting these boxes open. Oh, yep, I had it the wrong way. <laughs> okay, let's let you guys see what it looks like on the inside. There we go. I smell something good in here. Another bath bomb, and I can't use bath bombs. It says, Misadventures in Space. Yes. And one of the boxes, I still don't know when they're going to be shipped for this month, is going to have the, this book in it. So that's why I didn't buy the book for this one. But I wanted the candle. So, yeah. So we got a bath bomb, which I can smell. I'll show you where they're all, I'll tell you where they're all from when when I'm done. I'll look at the spoiler. But yeah, it's a pretty color. It smells like Fruit Loops. Yeah, it definitely smells like Fruit Loops. I've been saving these for my niece, so that will go with her. And then we got, man, whatever this is, it's the Breakfast Club. Sincerely yours, Breakfast Club, but it got ruined, uh, ruined a little bit. I tell you, lately, whenever I've been getting boxes, like my other box from them, my Harry Potter one was bented. Why is this camera so out of focus? Then we got a little little journal so it's just journal belongs to contact information and subject and date so we got that we got an iron on it's a firefly serenity iron on patch let's go be bad guys it's cute i don't know if i would ever use it i might give it to my niece and she'll find something to do with it we got this magnet Ooh, cool, it says, am I not merciful? You know me, I collect magnets. I got them all over my refrigerator, so I don't mind if I get magnets in them. I know some people don't like magnets in their boxes, but I like magnets because I like to put them all over my, like I said, my refrigerator. And plus, it's one of my favorite quotes from Illumini. That Adrian, Adrian, how do you say the robot? I always forget the, the uh, robot's name or the AI. But Adrian, is it that right? Adrian, I think that's right. But am I not merciful? I love when he says that. I'll definitely use, put that on my collection. And we got this big, a couple of other things. We got this mirror from Skyward. It's a mirror, which I'm reading right now, Skyward, Skyward. And it says, claim the stars. And now that I'm wearing makeup, I guess that's good. I guess I can see my makeup. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it. And then we got... This little ornament. I think that's an ornament. I believe this is an ornament. Because it looks like it has an ornament thing on it. If I can get it open, it says, I find your lack of chair disturbing. I can get it open, you guys. There we go. Yeah. It definitely is a... You can use it as an ornament. And it's got Darth Vader with his his um Santa hat. I guess that's supposed to be Darth Vader. And then we got our candle, which is the reason why I wanted to get the box this month. Because I got the other candle somewhere over on my dresser. If I could get this one open. It's this. It's a, it smells like Fruit Loops. It's a bath bomb. See? Smell it. And this one is, um, it has different, um, books on it, like, um, Traveler, the Ox and the Ivory, how we say it, the Blackwater one, I forget what it's called, so you can't read the whole thing, um, these Rebel Waves, Rural, Grim Lovelies, the other part of the Traveler, because we got two that time, Children of Blood and Bone, Ink, Iron, and Glass. Like not sure what this one, uh, maybe Unearth. I'm not sure what that one says. Burn the rabbit, something like that. And line in the dark or something like that. <laughs> but that's what the label looks like. 
why I wanted it because they were talking about they were having collectibles candles in it. Let me see. Well, that smells good. I'm trying to figure out what the scent is, but I can't figure it out. It smells really, really good. It doesn't tell you what the scent is. It almost smells like a... Man, I know what the smell is, and I just can't like get it into my um brain what it is but it's kind of like sweet yeah it's definitely sweet but that's what it looks like it's really pretty isn't it it's like it has yellow glitter on it it's definitely really pretty so yeah definitely smells good okay let's read and of course that's from Di dio 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 how is it it says Year two. Thank you. Smell I mean, dear reader, thank you for taking this reading journey with me. Laura Jean from mm -hmm. Spare Craft Book Box. Something. This second year, when I think about all the books we've read together the past year, I think of... Okay, this is what it's supposed to smell like. Sunflowers, lemon, and a hint of tea. Wow. Here's to all the wonderful years to come. Love, Laura Jean. Laura Jean. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now that, you yeah. know... Definitely smells good. I like it because usually I can't, like, lemon gives me a headache. But this one, you know, you don't smell a lot of the lemon. You smell more, like, it smells like it has other fruits in it, even though it doesn't. But, like, really, so, like, really pretty, like, lemon. Like, it's not a strong lemon. lemon. And it's probably because of the tea and the, and the, um, mm -hmm. what did I say the other thing was? The tea and the sunflowers. That's probably why it, um. Don't smell so strong like lemon because everything else is like blending into it really well. So, yeah. But, yeah, oh, it smells really, really good. So, yeah. But this is the main reason why I wanted the box is because I wanted to collect the candles, and then every November she's going to be doing like another, like a candle because that's her normal, you know, her number, her normal um, anniversary box. She just um gave two this year because she didn't do it last year. So yeah, but yeah, I'll do, I'll use this and I'll use the um little notepad and the magnet. And I like the book. I like the um, little ornament. Mm. Okay. Hanger arrives in the down position. Bend one, up once. Additional bends may result in breakage. So you, that's what she's, they're talking about right here. So you pull, pull that up just once and then, you know, put it on the tree. So that's how we can put it on the tree. But I do like that because I love, I like having like different things for ornaments on my tree. And I like Darth Vader. He's cool. Okay, now let's go over things. The mirror, now that I said, like I said, now that I'm starting to wear makeup, I'll put the mirror in my purse. This mirror in my purse, and then, like, if I want to refresh my lipstick, if I'm out and about and have lipstick or something, then, you know, I'll use that. This and this is the only thing I can't use. This I'll give, like I said, I'll give it to my niece. But, yeah, it smells... Just like Fruit Loops. And this, I don't know what I'll do with that. I don't, I don't like, I don't know how to sew good and things. And I wouldn't use the patch anyways. So, I don't know. It's an iron on patch. Okay, let's read what it says. It says, um, like I said, it was Misadventures in Space. Star Wars Darth Vader Hol Holiday Ornament. Which, of course, I just showed you this one. Uh, exclusive two-year anniversary edition candle. Of course, it's that one from Dio, Dio, Dio Candles Co. Um, let's see. Garden of the Galaxy. So this is Garden of the Galaxy. Bath Bomb. Color Galaxy. Scent Deep Space. And so Deep Space is supposed to smell like Fruit Loops? <laughs> That's what it smells like, Fruit Loops. It says it's, the, sp the smell is deep space, so 
deep space must smell like Fruit Loops. <laughs> and then it says, um, and it says it's from Firefly, of course, like I said. Oh, no, that's the patch. That's this. That's from, yeah, and it's a spare craft. I don't know if it's a spare craft. Yeah, it says, um, spare craft book box iron on patches. And then on the back it says, let's go play, let's go be bad guys. I didn't even know it was that, but that's what it says there. Okay, let's see. And then it says Illuminae, which is, where did I put that magnet? The magnet. It says Illuminae Magnet Sparecraft Book Box Exclusive. So this one is exclusive. So you only can get it through the box. And I love this. Like I said, that's one of my favorite sayings at Adian. Adian? How do you say the name? What he says in the in the book. Breakfast Club sticker, which is messed up. It got messed up. But maybe I can flatten it out. If I can flatten it out whenever I get a laptop, I'll put it on the laptop. Let's see. Um, and it says, don't forget about me. It says, Skyward inspired 3 by 5 inch glass pocket mirror. We need to look good even in space. So yeah. And like I said, I'm reading this book, so. Let's see, and then it says, letter, author, and signed book plate. Of course, I didn't get that. Uh, let's see, it says, does the book was the disaster, disaster's book. And like I said, that's why I didn't get this, because the disaster is going to be in one of my other boxes. That I'm still, don't know when they're going to come, but eventually. It says, it says, but it's by M.K. England. It says, the Breakfast Club meets Guardian of the Galaxy in this young adult sci-fi adventure by debut author M.K. England. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's the main reason I bought it. This ain't, like, really that bad of a box if I could use more of it. Like, I guess I could, like, if I really wanted to, like, break this up and, you know, like, put it into little chunks into the bath, in the shower. <laughs> it's not the same because, you know, you don't get the same effect, but... Or it doesn't have an expiration date, so I uh, might put a few of these up for if we do ever find a place to live. Then I can use it then. But, yeah... My favorite thing is definitely the candle, of course, because that's what I, the reason, reason why I wanted the box. If they weren't going to have a candle, then I probably wouldn't have got it this month. But, and I love the magnet, like I said. And I love the, the, um, Darth Vader. And even though I'm not a huge mirror fan, but now that, like I said, that I'm starting to wear makeup and stuff, this will be handy for the car. I mean, in my purse for when I'm in the car. Hey, you guys can see me. Hi, everybody. Can you see me through the mirror? <laughs> and, yeah. This would be good for people that have baths. But it does smell like Fruit Loops. Like, like really good. And the only thing I don't really like is, is the iron-on patch. That would be my least favorite. This I would like more if it wasn't ruined. It got all damaged. But like I said, I'll try to put it under something and see if it'll flatten it out. And probably like a journal. I pop, maybe I'll use it like to for some notes or something, put some notes in it or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'll give it to one of my kids. Something. We'll see. <laughs> but that is it. Um I don't know if I'm gonna get my enchanted book box and that's in that how and that uh and there's another book, another one. I'm supposed to get this month, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. Who knows when I'm going to get it. But it's coming from overseas. It's a Geek Gear one. It's the festive, of, festive holiday one or something like that. Hogwarts one. I'm, I still haven't heard nothing about it. I know it was dispatched a couple of weeks ago. So when that comes in and the Enchanted Book Box comes in, I'll be doing unboxing for that. And then next month, I'm going to be having... I think five boxes. I'm going to do um, this box again next month because they're having two books. And the main book I really, really wanted. And I was going to buy it next month anyway. So I figured why not get an extra book. I don't know what the extra book is, but why not get an extra book. So next month I'll do, be doing another spare craft. I'll be doing a beacon. Two two owl crates because I have, you know, the regular owl crate coming. And then, and then I have the um, Wicked King one coming. And then I also... Already paid for fake crate, so I'll also have a fake crate coming. 
And depending on what the um, Enchanted Fandom's uh, mug is for February, I won't be getting the January one, but so actually that one I won't get until February. So I'll tell you about that next time. But yeah, that is it. Tomorrow I will be back on to show you everything I got for Christmas. And that is it. What was your guys' favorite thing in the box? Um, have any of you guys got the Disaster by MK England? I think that's what I said her name was. And if you have, what did you think about it? Because it was one of the books I really, really wanted this year. And I actually had it pre-ordered. But then I wanted to try Enchanted Book Box. And they said they were going to have it. Have it. So, spoiler, if you get an Enchanted Book Box and you don't know what the book was, sorry. I just gave you guys <laughs> what it was. I didn't mean to say the book that that was where the book was coming from, but I'm sure you guys could have figured it out anyways. Most of you guys probably already know, so yeah. So yeah, just let me know what your guys' favorite was, item. And yeah, if you guys get book boxes, which book boxes are you getting next month? Do you like have certain ones that you buy every month and then some for special occasions or what? Because I love, like I get, um... Beacon, and I get Owl Crate, and lately I've been getting Fae Crate every, every month. Um, and then Sparecraft, sometimes I get, sometimes I don't. So, yeah. But Owl Crate, I haven't, I've been with them for, this, December was a year, so this, you know, this year. So, next month I'll be with them for a year and a month, so, yeah. They're the ones, they're the only ones I've been with, like, since I started. You know, since I started getting up boxes. And Beacon, I've only missed a couple of times. So, like three or four times, I think, out of the year that they... Well, it'll be a year in February. But I got their first box, so... So, I'm definitely going to get this... Get um, February's box as well. I'm probably going to keep getting theirs because I love their boxes. But I think... And they are... They don't have any more um, January's left. So, if you wanted January's, I'm sorry because... They're out because there was arches, and, yeah, they sold out, so, yeah. And, I don't know, I think they sold out of the Wicked King, too, so. And, of course, Owl Crate already sold out of theirs. They almost sold out almost right after they got theirs, you know, went on sale, so, yeah. And, I think, I'm not sure if, um, Fake Crate is out of their, um, January boxes yet. I know they were close to being sold out. I think they still had a couple of the ones with the shirt. I think they were out of the book only. And I think they were out of the book and goodies. I think they only had the book, goodies, and shirts left. I'm not positive. But you could double check if you're interested in Fake Crate for January. Because I know their um, one of their items for January is going to be... Um, it's going to have a Buffy a Buffy the Vampire Slayer item in it. So if you love Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you're going to love that. So yeah. And they've been kicking it out of ball, ballpark lately. Like if you saw my video down below, you'll see how good this month's box was from Fake Crate. But yeah, I really liked I didn't think this was a bad box. It'd be better, like I said, if I had a bathtub so I could use the bath bomb. Like, for the right way and not have to, like, break them up into little chunks and just let them, you know. But, yeah. And, like I said, I always love getting ornaments for Christmas. So, yeah. But other than not being able to use the bath bomb and, and getting the iron-on patch. I know some people like to get that, but that just don't, like... You know, it just doesn't, uh, what's that word? Like, it's not something I like to get, personally. But I can understand why other people do. Because a lot of people like to, like, put it on their jackets or something like that. But, yeah. I'm just not a big, you know, iron patch person. But I definitely love the candle. So much. But, yeah. That is it. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow to show you guys what I got for Christmas. And, yeah, uh, that is it. I hope you guys all have a great day. If you're celebrating 
Christmas. I hope you have a great Christmas tomorrow. And I'll wish you guys it again tomorrow when I show you my stuff that I got. And that is it. Remember, if you ever need anybody to talk to, just comment down below and I'll get right back to you. Remember, if you like this video, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. And if you do, remember to hit the bell icon. Yeah. And I will talk to you guys all later. Lori out.